A woman with a voice is by definition a strong woman, but the search to find that voice can be remarkably difficult. Melinda Gates. What's poppin' girls? You've just tuned in to season three of Broken Women Win Podcast, discovering purpose in Christ beyond our ramshackle past. I am none other than your hope dealer, Ashley Leanne, coming to snatch you out of the trenches of despair. So, sit back, relax, grab a snack, get your bibles and notepads and something to drink, because honey, we've got a lot to discuss. What's popping, good people? Happy New Year. Happy 2020. Happy New Decade. How y'all doing? I know I was supposed to record again before the year was out, but I couldn't. But I'm here now. And it is season three. Thank y'all so much for rocking with your girl for three whole seasons. I think this is like episode number 24 or something of the sort. But yes, I'm so excited to be back. I have missed interacting with you guys. How have y'all been? How was your crema? How was your crema? Did you have a good crema? How was your New Year's Eve? Were y'all wasted on your New Year's Eve? Or were you at the church house on your New Year's Eve? What y'all do for the new year? What's been going down? What's been going on with you guys? I'm so excited for the new year. Maybe I should find another word for this year other than excited. Because I like the word excited. But maybe I, I overuse it. Maybe I should find something else. But I am. I'm ecstatic. How about that? I am ecstatic about the new year. Y'all... I'm just glad to be recording right now. I I keep telling y'all when I'm away and life is happening to your girl and I cannot record. I am not at my best. I'm not. Nope. It's true. It's true. Y'all float my boat and find my lost remote. Yes, you do, honey. You walk KK on my zipper. Oh, yes. It's like it's permanent. It's got to be there. So I am um, sitting in my sister's closet, as many of you know. If you listen to the previous uh, episode, I am now relocated. I'm in Montgomery again. Um, Yeah, it's a culture shock. However, sometimes, you know, you have to come back home to get your core right, you know. So, yeah, the boys and myself are staying with my sister. And it's just been kind of difficult to record because, you know, we're in the living room and it's just been a lot of stuff going on and. But, you know, I made, you know, a promise to myself, you know, that I'm going to be more intentional. It doesn't matter about the situation that I'm in or what's going on. I am going to be diligent even when things are tough. And sometimes, you know, God puts us in situations and he wants to know that we will be faithful over what he has told us to do, even when you are in the midst of of you know what seems to be a trial or what some may call or what I like to call ground zero because literally I am rebuilding from zilch from nothing only thing I still have that I own that's mine is my car but that's okay though because I do understand that you know all things work together for the good you know of those who love the lord and those who are the called according to his purpose and i know that i meet the prerequisites so you know it can be tiring sometimes but you know i just have to know that this is but for a season um and even in the midst of the season i'm going to be diligent and do what god has called me to do when it comes to this podcast and that is to continue to record so yes so let's see what has been going on with me it ain't been no working out going on i'm sorry so don't even ask me about jorge honey because jorge is in the case i mean me and jorge ain't did nothing i know he's probably feeling all neglected and everything wait a minute let me just pause Thank you for my new listeners. So if you guys are listening for the first time, 
Jorge is my guy that's on my Zumba DVD. Don't know if his name is Jorge or not. I don't know. He's cute. You know what I'm saying? Finer than frog hair, split four ways. So I call him Jorge because I just think Jorge is a sexy name. And hey, he gets me all motivated when it comes to me and my Zumba. But yeah, I haven't zoomed with anything, honestly, since like before the miscarriage. And I miscarried in August. So I have not... <laughs> honey i don't know the last time you know jorge probably got you know dust thick as three-day grits on the top of it who knows i don't know but i have not been doing my whole workout thing and this year you know i just wanted to be a little bit more um gentle i want to be gentle with myself this year um 2019 may have been the best year of your life but however it wasn't the best year of mine okay i went through a lot I lost a lot. I suffered a lot. Um, there was a lot of shifting and moving around, a lot of loss. It was like freaking slow singing and flower bringing, you know, but the end of the year ended with a bang. Thank God for that. You know, he always allows, you know, you to see, hey, this is not, you know, this ain't your lot. You're not going to be here forever. So this year I did not make a whole bunch of resolutions. I normally don't anyway. Um, but what I do for the beginning of the year, um, I choose a word for the beginning of the year for the, the whole year is going to have one specific word for whole, for the whole year. And throughout the year for each month, I have a word that's designated for the month. So my word that is designated for the month is consistency, which sounds really easy, but I can really get thrown off with, you know, recording when I'm supposed to record, you know, things happen with the kids. Um, I was in training with my new job, I'm not in training anymore, but you know, I don't know what my schedule is going to be, but you know what though, that doesn't matter because let me tell you, your girl invested in herself this year. Yes. I always pour into everybody else and I always tell y'all you can't pour from an empty cup. So I invested in myself this year and I have a life coach. And I'm so excited about my life coach. And we had our first consultation on last night. And um, on next week, you know, we'll be speaking again. I'm not sure how often. I think we're going to speak either once a week or once every other week. Just to make sure that I'm on track with the things that I've been desiring to do. And um, those things that I have put my hands to. I don't want to dwindle away and diminish because I'm in a place um culturally where what I do is not common and sometimes when you're around people and they don't they're not familiar with what your calling and your giftings are you can kind of be like a fish out of water you know and you can just slip through the cracks and I don't want my talents you know my gifts you know to slip through the crack I don't want that to happen um Honestly, I really, really, really want to be able to, you know, flourish where I am. I may feel like I'm in a dark space, you know, right now, but I want to be able to flourish where I am. Um, I also want to say thank you guys so much for the nice inboxes and, you know, some of the emails that I get with you guys just encouraging me you know saying that I inspire you guys and you know you I'm so strong and you don't know how I do it well honey to be honest with you I don't know how I do it either I ain't gonna even lie I don't know I don't know how I do it it's nobody but the Lord like literally because if it was you know me oh Ashley would be all jacked up I'd be somewhere right now I'm literally supposed to be somewhere you know in an insane asylum you know with a jacket on looking crazy and rocking back and forth because I went through so much stuff last year and it's nobody but God the reason why I am still standing and so I take no credit for it you know I take no credit because it's not me it is not me at all it's nobody but the Lord so yeah so what is your word for the year what's your word for the year what's your word for the month Um, My word for the year, I'm kind of like in between, but I think mostly it's going to be perseverance. That's my word for the year is perseverance is to just continue to push through no matter how, you know, 
bad it looks no matter how hard things get to just continue to push and I know some of you may say well it sounds like this what you did last year but yeah I just want to be more intentional about um the things of God um digging deeper in his word um even going deeper you know with the podcast I just you know I just want to give my best to you guys I don't want to you know have ass anything at all I don't you know that's easy to do just you know say something and I don't want to do that so I can't I can't lead you where I haven't been and so the place that I'm in right now I just want to encourage somebody and let you know that you're going to survive if I am surviving then you're going to survive giving up is not the answer I tried to give up and it didn't work okay it did not work out at all I end up boohoo crying sitting in a closet somewhere then I wipe my face off and say okay girl get up keep it pushing you gotta keep on moving do what you gotta do so yeah you know just don't even stress yourself don't stress yourself about it so with this episode I did not write down any notes I just wanted to pretty much just come off you know shoot from my brain from my heart you know whatever it is that um that's been weighing on me and what's been weighing on me is things are going to get better they will look up things are going to get better they'll look up just be very consistent and persistent with whatever your your dreams your aspirations are whatever those things are you really believe in God for and another thing I have a confession You know how sometimes we pray and we believe God for certain things, but it's like you don't want to believe him for the really, really, really big things because sometimes you feel as if you're not deserving um, or you feel like, well, he's not going to give it to you for whatever reason why you would feel that way. That was me. So I no longer... um, I no longer do that. I'm writing down those desires of my heart that scare me. Some things I'm believing God for, you know, for my family, for my um, my bloodline, um, just personal, some personal things in my life that are dreams and aspirations. They're so big to it's like it's I find it difficult to even speak it out. So I'm writing those things down and I'm keeping track. I want to be more diligent this year as well with keeping track of um, the prayers that I pray and the answers that I get. Uh, I write, I journal a lot, not as much as I used to, but that's one of the things that I want to uh, do more of, you know, cultivate yourself, you know, continue to um journal and write down your thoughts and you know your feelings and emotions and your prayers and at the end of the year you know you come back and you look at it and you're like wow this is where I started out and look at where I am right now so yeah so um those things that seem really hard you know those things that you don't think God is going to do for you you know ask him I'm right along with you ask him I am right along with you um I am you know, just pushing through. It's it's somewhat tough. I have some days that are really tough and I'm like, I have to forgive myself all over again. Um, sometimes it's a daily thing. I have to forgive myself for uprooting my, allowing myself to be uprooted from Huntsville to move to Georgia. And, you know, I'm now I'm in a space. This These are the thoughts that I, you know, have within myself. It's like now I'm in a space you know, where I don't have my own right now, because financially, I'm just not at a, at a place where I can just jump out there with my kids and go and get something. And then I don't really know where I want to be, like permanently, like I know I'm, I'm here right now. But permanently, you know, my, my heart is really not here. You know what I'm saying? I really, really, really miss Huntsville. But, you know, I can't make any moves until God gives me a green light. Okay. Like, I really, really, really need the green light. So, you know, I was beating myself up saying, how could I allow, you know, myself to be uprooted from where I was in a city that I loved and I thought was, you know, the most beautiful place that I have stayed, you know, stayed so far. Then I moved and got married and this Negro was a fraud and things didn't work out there. And then I went from here to there. It's like I was like all over the place. 
And so I have to just encourage myself, even when the enemy brings those thoughts and say, hey, you know, all things work together for your good. You know, the Lord knew that these things would be before the foundations of the earth. It all caught me by surprise when he said, hey, this is it. I don't want to do this no more. You know, but it did not catch God by surprise, you know. So sometimes, you know, you have to just get to a point where you're like, hey, it is what it is. You know, there's no ain't no animosities. There's no, you know, bitterness. There's no unforgiveness. This is a whole new year, a whole new decade. And uh, I just want what God has for me and my children. And I want I want to be, you know, in right standing to where I can petition the throne on your behalf as well. And I can't do that with unforgiveness in my heart or offense or, um, you know, anger and frustration. It is what it is. Everybody has a right to do whatever they want to do. So this year, 2020, we're persevering. We're pushing through. We're doing, um, we're doing what our hearts desire. Yes, we are. Everything that's aligning with God's word that is in our hearts, what we're desiring, we're doing that. We're going after things that seem to be scary and almost impossible. You know, we're investing in ourselves. I have all these different books that I'm going to read this year, which I bought them at the end of the year. And I didn't really start them until the um, beginning of the year because, you know, I wanted to incorporate it all and I'm keeping track of everything that I'm doing you know sometimes at the beginning of the year we have all this stuff that we said we're going to do and we're going to do this we're going to do that and you start out with it and then it just dwindles away and at the end of the year you try to pick back up and you just have this big gap in between so there's not going to be any big gaps in between we're going to be consistent yes tonight I was sleeping I was my sister's actually in there sitting on the couch now she's like girl we're gonna finish watching you we're on the second season of you Yes, honey. Looking at Joe with his crazy self. So we're on the second season of You. And I told her, I said, okay, I have got to record tonight. So when I finish recording, we can go and watch You. All right. Because, I mean, let's just face it. I just like You. Have y'all seen that? I'm pretty sure a lot of you have. So, um, and I just was remembering what, you know, my life coach said on last night. You know, you have to carve out time. You got to be consistent. You got to be diligent in those things you got to figure out what your why is why are you really doing this what is the reason behind you doing this who is really the face of your brand and the face of my brand is me okay and so if i'm going to help you on a consistent basis if i'm going to record and upload for you guys on tuesdays then i have to do what i have to do and you can wait meaning you the show not you (laughs) meaning you the show But yeah, that's about it. I mean, I don't have anything else. I just wanted to pop on and say Happy New Year. You know, it's a brand new year, a brand new decade. And wherever you may be, there may be some of you that are where I am right now, just starting out with nothing. You've been literally stripped of everything that you have. And as I encourage myself, I want to encourage you to let you know that you are not in a place that's too far gone or too deep that God cannot reach down and pick you up. Okay? You've got to know that it's all for a reason. Everything that happened is written. You just continue to be diligent. You continue to work and don't stress yourself about what's going on. You can only do what you can do. Continue to pray. Continue to persevere and watch God do the work. And I promise you, if he has kept me in my right mind in the midst of all of this stuff that I've got going on. And if he has done such a work in my life to where I still want to be able to encourage and where I still believe in love. And I believe that there is a man of God somewhere that is not a phony, a fake and a fraud and that will love me and love my children and love God like he says on social media. Okay. Because I don't want you to just love them on social media. Now, I need you to continue to pray. I need you to love them behind them doors when them doors is closed. All right? So, if I still believe that God can send someone into my life for that, then, hey, girl, look. After three failed marriages, look. If I still believe that it's, it's there, you can believe. You don't, have, you don't have the right to give up. You can't give up. So, I'm walking alongside you. I am praying with you. I am believing God with you as I'm believing God for myself. And, hey, We're going to get through this. We're on ground zero right now. We're going to get through it. And we're going to make it, okay? You know why? Because broken women win. 
And that's a fact, Jack. What they say? Period, poo. Period. Broken women win. Period, poo. Well, I'm going to go now. It's been about almost 20 minutes in. And uh, I love you guys. I will see you guys on next Tuesday because I will be recording and uploading every single Tuesday. Yes. Every single Tuesday. Okay. So you have something to look forward to. I love you guys. Talk to you in the next episode. Bye bye. Thank you guys so much for listening and for all of your love and support is greatly appreciated. Please remember to rate, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to discuss, slide in your girl's DM on Instagram. All of my social media platforms are Broken Women Win. That is Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can also follow my blog on my website, which is BrokenWomenWin.com. Until next time, be breezy.